Good morning English literature students. This lecture is in continuation to yesterday's lecture which was held on uh, a song for Saint Cecilia's day and it's the mainly uh, a long lyric written by John Dryden. As I have discussed the main um, theme and the main subject matter of the poetry. Now Today again I shall repeat for you a few more important points which were not discussed yesterday. Now see this particular uh, long lyric, it not only um, describes you about the power of music, okay. So uh, it also describes about the instruments, musical instruments which make a very powerful impact impact on the life of um, a man now see the first stanza here the poet says from harmony from heavenly harmony this universal frame began students now uh, here this uh, you know john dryden has used uh, the uh, you know he has taken biblical illusions and he has used uh, so many theories also so he is talking about the creation creation which itself took you know creation which took birth from uh, musical harmony which was heard from heaven now see when we discuss so i'll just uh, because i have given you few notes on summary interpretation and analysis of dryden's song for saint cecilia's day and i have even given you the reference from where this has been taken so i'll just see read out uh, which are the theories which the poet uses the origin of music has always remained a mystery though it has always attracted man towards itself since the time imm immemorial so myths and legends were born to justify the origination of music saint cecilia was such a legendary figure of the second century who was said to have established music as a divine art on earth so he not only celebrates saint cecilia you know uh, he also celebrates the music you know the power of music so that is the most remarkable thing so this is very rich you know it, he uses many figures of speech so mm. that simultaneously we'll be discussing so now though her connection with music is quite uncertain there are legends of her attracting an angel down to earth by singing and she even came to be spoken of the inventor of the organ dryden wrote song for saint cecilia's day for the performance with orchestra to celebrate the festival of saint cecilia's day in 1687 now see the main purpose is i would like to discuss the few theories you know which the poet is using because these things were even discussed earlier now see the first few lines of the poem from harmony from heavenly harmony this universal frame began see this universal universe itself you know it did not have any structure so what happened this universe universe got its frame how did it get it frame now uh, because when the musical um, mu heavenly music was heard from the heaven and the poet by the end by the chorus by the end he says that as you know the universe was created by listening to the music from heaven in the same way uh, the whole uh, you know universe will come to an end when the voice will be heard from the heaven and beautiful music will be heard from the heaven so this is a now uh, this is what i would like to discuss here this is and i have uh, given you notes here this is a pythagorean doctrine pythagoras saw the universe as the manifestation of the heavenly harmony which he believed had held contrary things together this was not merely a conjecture for him the essential element for him in harmony was numbers and so harmony was founded upon numerical proportions as it is also today but while drawing upon pythagorean theory dryden has also used the biblical theory of creation the book of Genesis, in which man was the latest and the best product in the process of Genesis. So, you know, uh, the die pass in closing full in man, the first few lines of the poem. In the subsequent stanzas, Dryden illustrates how human beings are overpowered by various kinds of music. First of all, he refers to Juba, who is the father of music in ancient Jewish literature and who is thought to have invented the lyre made of strings stretched across the shell of a tortoise. Now see, what I would like to discuss here, student, uh, nowadays you listen to the music, you know, and the music has innovated so much, okay? So you have uh, 
you have access to um, all type of uh, digital music and so many innovations but see in the olden times here you get that philia see the stanza too what passion cannot music raise and quell when juba struck the corded shell so you come to know about the ancient people how they used to create music you know they used to there was a shell and they used to tie the cords on the shells okay so you get that uh, partic- particular picture in front of you so when juba was playing that music you know he was uh, taking out music from the corded shell so his listening brother stood around so his all companions they were standing beside him and they were wondering and wondering on their faces fell to worship that celestial sound they all thought that there is some heavenly being you know who is sitting inside that corded shell that is why juba can play such a uh, what you say enchanting music okay so this shows you how uh, you know how powerful is music how it can capture the what you say the attention of the people okay less than a god they thought see this line this is a remarkable line less than a thought god they thought there could not dwell within the hollow of that shell that spoke so sweetly and so well and see the rhythm which the poet uses what passion cannot music raise and quell so music has got the passion to raise you know any type of emotion in human beings so see when we are very sad sometimes we listen to the sad music when we are very in a party mood you know we are trying to you know move with the beats of the music and when in ancient times even till today so when we want to evoke some sort of you know what you say patriotism for our country and there is a national day so people listen to the uh, patriotic songs so that so, like for uh, we indians i can give you the example of 15th of august and 26th of january we listen to all desh bhakti songs so we get that sort of feeling you know for our country so these are the things which uh, we can relate to and which we can you know, compare okay now see he has described in stanza 3 the trumpet the trumpet's loud clangor excites us to arms so when the soldiers they are getting ready to fight in the army so when they listen to the trumpet so trumpet even in our olden times when you see so many stories on tv and um, so many what you see olden what a historical plays being played so you listen to the clangor of the trumpets jaise bigul bajta hai you know so uh, with shrill notes of anger and mortal alarm so all the soldiers are ready to fight their enemies so here see the power of trumpet okay now see here uh, the figure of speech alliteration the double 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 beat so it not only you know this alliteration is so beautifully used that um, the beautiful beating of the drum you know you get it created in your ears so of the thundering drum cries hark the force come cha 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 it is too late to retreat so uh, the uh, you know poet shows us the power of musical instruments and the music which comes out of that that how powerful these musical instruments are okay now this is what i was discussing with you so uh, now uh coming to the fourth stanza uh, that is the soft complaining flute so now in the fourth stanza he is describing you about the flute and lute that it represents you know all the feelings which a lover is having for his beloved and if beloved is not reciprocating even that okay now then uh, see the fifth stanza the sharp sharp violins proclaim their jealous pangs and desperation so desperation fury frenetic frenetic indignation depth of pain and height of passion for the fair disdainful dame suppose there is a lover who is proposing his beloved so she is going on you know refuting uh, you know his proposal so all the pangs all the desires all the hopelessness even the fury even the hatred of or the lovers that is very beautifully represented by the uh, music that is played by the violin so students as we had discussed earlier all these stanzas so the few remarkable notes i would like to discuss here so uh, 
<clears throat> now in the third stanza as i have already discussed about the music so i'll just read out this in the third stanza dryden describe how wild music of trumpet incites the passion of anger in human hearts and how the wild beats of drum leads them to take up arms against the enemies in the fourth stanza dryden shows that music even can reflect the most refined feelings like those of the hopeless lovers in the fifth stanza the power of the musical instrument violin is described as i just now discussed with you it is to be noted that dryden has carefully selected different rhythms different um, uh, different rhythms different music so now in the uh, dryden refers to organ also and the divine association in order to come to the central figure of the poem as the poem is being entitled song um, song for saint cecilia's day okay so this particular see the title of the poem the a song for saint cecilia's day so how dryden comes to an end you know he says yeah, see the last stanza Orpheus could lead the savage race, and trees unrooted left their place, sequacious of the lyre. But bright Cecilia's raised the wonder higher. When to her organ vocal breath was given, an angel heard and straight appeared, mistaking earth for heaven. So Cecilia could raise the level of music because when she played on her organ, so two angels, you know, they thought that this earth. is you know heaven and they mistook her to be heaven because cecilia was playing that music so well and she could play that music better than any other uh, because there is a literary illusion she has been compared to orpheus orpheus who had you know that power to lead even the uncivilized people they used to follow him when they uh, could when they used to listen to his music even trees jaise tansin ke liye bola jata hai jab tansin you know he used to play his music to पेड़ तक उसको फॉलो करने लगते हैं सो इन द सेम वे ट्रीज गॉट अनरूटेड लेफ द प्लेस सो सी द ग्रैंड कोरस हाउ डज द पोएट एंड दैट इज वेरी रिमार्केबल बिकॉज एज द क्रिएशन यू नो क्रिएशन टुक प्लेस विद द लाइट फ्रॉम हेवन सॉरी म्यूजिक फ्रॉम हेवन इन द सेम वे द क्रिएशन विल कम टू एन एंड दिस क्रम्बलिंग पाज इन शेल डिवोर द ट्रम्पेट शेल बी हर्ड ऑन हाई द डेड शेल लिव एंड द लिविंग die and music shall untune the sky so not only uh, the uh, you know uh, the creation took place with the heavenly music but it will also come to an end when there will be when the, the music will be heard from the heaven thank you students thank you for your patience for